Hey, what's going on guys? Roni Boney here. Thank you for stopping by. So a few years ago, I did a video on how I got around not being able to use the keyboard on PC because being predominantly for 17 years, I played on console. Um, so making that transition from console to using a keyboard and mouse was very difficult for me because it's two completely new inputs. If you think of it, two completely new inputs and I found it really, really challenging. So a few years ago, I bought this thing. It's called uh, the Splitfish Frag FX, and it was really, really good. As you can see, it's basically like one half of a controller with some buttons on top. One thing I didn't like about it, though, was this is not a real analog input. This simulates analog input. So it's basically just WASD. Uh, so you don't have that true analog movement that you would get uh, from using an analog stick. So. You know, I thought there was no go around for this and I've been waiting for a company to release a controller, some kind of one handed controller. I'm still waiting uh, for that kind of thing. But I found a go around recently about, I'd say over a year ago now, um, in the Steam controller. So that's the Steam controller right here. Um, and as you can see at the back, the Steam controller, it's only $44.99, something like that. I'm not paid by Steam, so I'm just saying this because I really like this product, um, that it has a paddle on the back. One thing about the Steam controller I'm going to show you guys right now is when I go into my controller configuration, I can set all my own bindings. In fact, say I wanted to have, you can you can do even more bindings if you want to. You could have a cord and see soft, soft pull action. So if I pull just slightly, slightly, I can have a certain action. If I want to do a full pull, it has a different action. Um, and you can also set the triggers, so the soft ball point, hair triggers, that kind of thing. Uh, so these things that scuff controllers and cinch controllers, elite controllers have, you don't need it. You don't need it on the PC if you're if you're looking for a controller for the PC. Now I'll say this: this trackpad for aiming is not as good as a control stick. There is something about a control stick that is way better. Uh, but this side of the controller is much better than any first party controllers that you will see on the market these days for PC gaming. I'll explain to you guys why. So I have a Logitech G700S mouse. This has quite a lot of buttons on it. So for this to work, for this tutorial to work, I believe you need a mouse with at the very, very, very least six buttons. So I have eight. So there's one here, uh, there's three there, there's four, and then four on the side. Uh, but technically there is on my scroll wheel there are two other buttons as well now you don't really need this uh, but i'll show you guys in game how i've I've kind of set my my things up so as you can see i'm going to be using this in my left hand because it has an actual analog stick uh, that works really 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 well and i'm going to be using my mouse in the right hand um, so let me just get out of here so this is how i've set things up that this back paddle here is to sprint also when i'm aiming down the sight using the trigger um, this is to zoom in as well. Obviously, I set the trigger. As you can see, I set it as P right there. You have to kind of go into your control bindings and really, you have to do it per game. Basically, you really have to do it per game. Some people aren't going to like that, but that's fine. Obviously, I'm using this, uh, the tab button here, this button here uh, to check the score. And then I've set different bindings on this here, basically the control pad, the directional pad. Uh, just random ones. So what I went for was J, I, O, and L. Um, and then to click it down brings up my map. Uh, you can also cord these buttons as well. What does that mean? What does a corded press mean? A corded press means that when I hold down one button and then press another one, I can select two, t I can set basically two totally different inputs. Why is this useful? This is really useful in games where they don't have uh, dual dual key bindings. So, you know, shift normally in computer games is to sprint, but when you aim down the site, it's to zoom. Some games don't have that. Some games have a different, uh, different key uh, assigned for zooming. So you can set all this yourself. If you wanted to play uh, with the other side as well in some games, you can also cord the entire controller. Um, I think it's an amazing controller. I think it's so far uh, forward in the future that I believe PlayStation and Xbox are going to be using stuff like this for their next gen consoles. But Steam has done it first and it's really, really great. What I also do is, um, obviously I set my own key bindings on my mouse. So if you're setting your key bindings on your mouse, you really have a lot of versatility. Like I said, I think having six buttons is very useful uh, because now that I aim down the sight with my trigger, I can lean with the right mouse 
And then when I press the middle mouse, I actually have two buttons, like I said, on either side of the actual mouse click. But if you didn't, you could just use the middle mouse to lean left. Why is this versatile? Well, on the keyboard, you use Q and you use E to lean. That's the standard input. That's the standard binding for most first person shooter games that have a leaning component. So the fact that I can lean left and right using my mouse, aim down the sight, move, sprint, zoom, I think it's superior. I think it's, especially if you're a console player, if you're, if you're a PC player and you, you probably don't need this, you're probably used to this. You know, and there's some people that are absolutely godly with switching, you know, if you can see my fingers here on the keyboard, switching between uh, these, these different inputs. I just can't do it. I have tried, and believe me, I have tried. And it really deterred me for PC gaming. So I hope that this can be a little tutorial to show guys uh, out here how to actually, you know, how to kind of merge console gaming and PC gaming, I think in the best way. So I'm gonna just gonna go into some local play here uh, on Insurgency Sandstorm. Uh, one of my favorite games uh, to play. I think it's one of the best first person shooters. Um, in local play, I think it's great for warming up. And for console players transitioning over to PC, I think this is a great game. So let me just show you guys right now before I jump in. I'm going to select my class. You know what? We're going to go with an M4, the old uh, American Express card. I'm going to go with a little bit of a, a nicer sight here. Um, so I play a lot of this game. So let me go into my bindings just to show you guys how I have things set up. So obviously, everything is pretty much the same as you would set it up uh, apart from uh, apart from aiming down the sight. I've set that as P, like I said. Um, everything else is the, literally the exact same, um, apart from leaning right and yeah, aiming down the sight, as you can see there. Pretty much the exact same as you have in a standard game. Um, so guys, let's just get into this. Let me show you guys how I do this and how fluid this can be. So let's get into it. I haven't done a video like this in a while and I've wanted to do a video like this for a long time uh, because I just I believe that I've found a method that a lot of people uh, could use to their advantage. So as you see here, also on my mouse, I can switch between my DPI. Um, so I can have a higher DPI. A lot of people think, you, oh shit, what the fuck? Oh God. See? So that's, there's the advantage of having a high DPI here. Slow DPI, that's a 400. High DPI, that's at 1000. Um, so that means for me that I can swap between targets really quickly. Um, I can turn really, really, really fast, which is so useful. What is he doing? What the flying go Oh, he's underneath. I don't know what this... I don't know what he's doing. Okay, let's just try and defend this objective. Let's try and clear these rooms. As you see, leaning. Leaning. Can you see it? I'm using the mouse. I'm using the scroll wheel. Leaning, again, there we go. Now we get to defend this objective here. So I'm just gonna keep going until I die. Insurgency is a really, really tough game. Uh, it is coming out on console soon enough, so you guys are really gonna enjoy it when it comes out, I believe. Uh, I'm gonna switch, as you see, to my single tap, um, just because they seem to be coming a little bit uh, farther away from me and I wanna have that accuracy. Now, as you see, look, I'm crouching, left stick. Now I'm aiming down the side, holding the same thing that I use for sprinting. Um, I can set different inputs, so... Uh-oh, see, now I'm reloading. Crouching. Watch this now, gonna switch fire mode. So I should be able to really help defend this objective here. Um, I can't go too wide. I'm gonna reload, actually. See, crouching. See how fluid this is. I'm a console gamer, guys. I'm a console gamer to my core, and I'm able to snap the fuck on the targets here. See, if I wanted to go a little bit higher DPI, I could do that. I might overshoot, though. That's the thing. So I need to... Oh, shit. Oh, shit. There's one coming over to me. So I'm going to switch my DPI to a lower one, so I have a little bit more... Uh, a little bit better aiming here. See? So I'm trying my ass off here to try and get this win. Uh, I am clearing the objective here, so I don't want to switch. So you want to move around just a little bit. You can also set dead zones on your left stick with the controller. So for you guys out there that think, you know, it's not it's not good, you don't have the same type of uh, analog input, you can get the same type of analog input. I promise you guys, I have really put a lot of time into experimenting with this. Uh, my best friend also bought... Um, a steam controller so that he could try this input out. So you see there, I took that objective by myself. If I had been on the keyboard, forget it. I would not have been able to do it. And I promise you that, I would not have been able to do it. Now some games do support the keyboard and are a lot better. Um, 
so you might see a tiny bit of input lag using the Steam controller. Now, is that worth it? It is worth it to me. It's very much worth it to me because I am faster moving around because I'm using a controller for movement. I've always said that I believe that the controller is much better for moving around. Um, it is, I believe it's just far superior. Uh, analog sticks are just amazing. Whereas control sticks for aiming are not because you require aim assist. In a mouse you don't. It can be a lot more accurate as you can see here. You see? You see what you see what I'm talking about? Like the proof is in the pudding. A lot of people think that this is BS, this input. This is not BS. Uh, this is I oh my god, I'm gonna get killed. I'm gonna throw this grenade because I already have it out. Insurgency is No! Insurgency is absolutely uh it's brutal. It's a brutal game and it will really help you uh, learn how to snap onto targets. Hopefully my now if I had gotten a good incendiary grenade, that would have exploded um, that would have exploded that objective. So we get to go back and uh, try it again. We might fail this mission. If we do, I'll end the video there. If not, then we'll press on. See, I, I ended up getting it because I threw an incendiary grenade onto the, the objective. So that's a nice little uh, kill from the grave there uh, for Roni. Uh, so as you can see, you know, I'm, I'm able to crouch. I'm able to basically work uh, like I would on console, uh, but also have the advantage of being faster. You see, look, look how fast that is. Uh, it's guys this is a game changer for console guys that cannot transition over to PC gaming uh, you're gonna love this method uh, it's cheap if you oh shit if you already have a mouse uh, this is this is optimal I think this is actually an optimal method uh, even PC gamers if you have a steam controller and you haven't tried this out try it out man try it out what have you got to lose you know you can mess around with your DPI you can mess around with everything uh, DPI stands for dots per inch for anyone that doesn't know any console dudes that don't know um, so I can crouch as you can see if I'm under fire um, I can I can react basically and that's something that I find very 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 difficult being a console gamer is reacting at the same speed as a PC gamer uh, this for me this levels the playing field guys this really does um, now I use a lot of people think don't use two different DPI levels I use it so that I don't have to. I don't have to move my hand as much, so I can switch my DPI. If uh, say I'd have to do a long swipe, say I'm on the low DPI and I'd have to go like that, I'd have to do a long swipe with my hand. Uh, I use my increased DPI so I can get back on target and really make small mouse movements, so I can be nice and precise. Uh, it's a game changer, guys. It's a game changer. What I'm showing you right now, you can have this one for free. You can have it for free. Um, it's useful. It really is useful. Um, I think a lot of you dudes are going to enjoy this. Um, just try, I promise you guys, just try it out. Uh, I'm going to protect this objective, so I'm going to throw this incendiary grenade there just to, to stop anyone. So I only really need to watch one side. Um, if you are playing Insurgency, I would suggest guys get it. Um, well, that's a suicide bomber there. That would have that would have been funny. Uh, they do uh, use their Nokia 3310s to try and blow you up. Um, it's quite uh, It's quite funny. It's, it's a great game, guys. Insurgency is a great game. I think it's one of the best games to warm up on um, and just to kind of chill out on. Um, I want to watch this side just in case they start coming here. And as you see, we're going to be capping objectives and just, you know, just playing. Just playing, enjoying ourselves. And we're not gimped. We're not gimped by our technology or by, you know, our lack of... I, I guess what would... Oh, shit. Is he against us? I think that is against us. I don't really want to... I'm gonna go outside until uh, grab more ammo. Until this go go copter is gone. Alright, here we go. So, you see, I've set the controls uh, very, very, very similar. Um, I can actually play on the keyboard. Um, I'm able to play, but it's a bit ability versus, you know, being optimal is totally different. We're, we're talking about apples and oranges here. Uh, they have fired mortars at us, so we, we need to. I, I do believe we need to move a little bit. There's sometimes guys over here, yeah. So as you see, I'm using the back. You see, I, I clipped him there. There we go, got him. Um, I used the back, you see, I used this. I used this to zoom in. Look, watch, see? It, it's perfect. Guys, it's perfect. It's exactly the way you, it's exactly the way us console, I'm still a console gamer, guys, at heart. Um, it's exactly the way that we're used to playing. Um, and I believe that, you know, you guys will see uh, some some serious uh, gains in your PC 
uh, skill from using this method. Just try it out. I promise you guys. I promise you. Just try it out. Um, it is legit. And you're going to have a lot of fun. So anyway, I'm going to shut up. Let's just play the game. See, I can check my corners really easily. Watch. So watch this. I'm going to go in. I'm going to take this house. We're going to go left, right. Left, right. See? Left. Left. You see? Left corner. Here we go. He's with us. And that's it. That's all it is, guys. That's all it is. Very, very, very easy. Um, this is this is a tough game, even against the bots. I'm promising you this. Um, really, really tough versus the bots. Um, so I'm going to be using this to try and uh, get a good defense in. Um, your bots, your bot teammates are not very good, so this will teach you how to react properly on first-person shooters. I've seen a lot of success uh, playing PUBG using this method because I'm just, I'm accurate now. Uh, and PUBG is one of those games. Oh shit, my god, that was ridiculous. So I need to, I need to reload. I could die here. Watch, left corner. Left corner, you see? Gonna have to switch weapon. There's one, there's one on me. You see, you guys see what I mean? I can close doors. Uh oh. Ooh. No! So you see what I mean? We're gonna lose that objective now. Um, you know, you win some, you lose some. Uh, it's a tough game, really, really tough game. We won't be able to make it there on time, I don't think. Because, uh, yeah, see, we won't be able to make it there on time, so we're pretty far away. Um, normally, when you're playing online, your teammates will be, you know, you'll be dying, you'll be coming in and out. Uh, so we're going to lose this one, but in general, you guys can probably see from this, uh, here's the potential for this method. This method is incredible, I think, um, at kind of merging PC and console gaming. You're going to be a lot faster. Um, you're gonna you're gonna not be frustrated at PC gaming anymore. It takes a little bit of getting used to. You do have to tweak it uh, for your own settings. What I will say is again, remember Steam controller, and you have to get a mouse, guys. You have to get a mouse that is able to have diff that has different buttons on the side, either side. It doesn't matter. But I think that you need at least six buttons. Um, I would preferably go for. Like, like I said, like I have 8 on this mouse, uh, 10 if you include the two buttons on either side of the scroll wheel and the scroll wheel itself. So let's say 11. Um, I would go for at least that, at least 8 buttons. You're going to love this. Um, if you're like me and you're an old man, I'm 28 at this point, I don't have time to start learning another method. Uh, I just want to play some games and enjoy them. So this is how I do it. Hopefully this was helpful for some of you guys. If you enjoyed it, please remember to like the video, uh, share it around if you want to as well. Um, and yeah, subscribe if you're new to the channel. Thanks very much. See you next time. Bye-bye.